I've got a lighter beach outfit. I've got an eight foot rod with a 3000 reel. It's got 15 pound braid and 20 pound leader. With all the reefy structure around, I've got single hooks, basic mass, less chance of getting hooked up. It's also good when there's weed around as well. I prefer single hooks overall anyway. With lots of snaggy reef around, you can't really do just a cast in one basic retrieve. You've got to lift your rod tip up and down. So when you're trying to skip over structure, lift your rod tip up. When it's past the structure, you can lower it back down. Where I'm fishing at the moment, there's a lot of structure close to the shore. So I'm lifting it right up and uh, spinning the reel as fast as I can so it skips across the top of it, doesn't get snagged. Here I'm casting in between the reef, so I keep my rod tip nice and low. I turned my camera on halfway through the battle. It was jumping all over the place. So I'm trying to keep my rod tip low and down to the left. Trying to make sure it doesn't breach anymore and shake out the lure. I'm going to make my favourite Taylor pasta bake today. So I start off with cooking up some penne pasta. You could use spirals or shells or anything like that. Good extra virgin olive oil. I've got two garlic cloves and two shallots diced up. I add them to the olive oil when the olive oil is cold and then bring it up to temperature. That way it helps it go soft and translucent and stops any bit of burnt taste from adding it to hot oil. Add your salt and pepper to taste and then saute for about 4 or 5 minutes. Next, chuck in a knob of butter and a couple of diced up mushrooms. I add a little bit of chilli but not too much as it's going to be a cream based dish. Half a cup of baby peas. Then I've got my Taylor fillet, so I've just chopped them into big chunks. Salt and pepper. I've got the zest of one lemon. I'll chuck that in. Once you smell it's nice and fragrant, then you can add in a glug of wine. Let that reduce a little. Once reduced, I add in about a third of a cup of cream. You just want to heat it up slowly until you start seeing some bubbles form. You don't want to really overcook it or make it split because you're going to chuck it into the oven soon. Arrange your Taylor fillets nice and evenly. Don't put them too far to the corners, otherwise they'll burn and overcook. Now your mixture's ready, pour that over the top. Even out your mixture, try and get it all to the different areas and different corners. Once it cooks and bubbles up it will move around a bit so it doesn't have to be too over the top. Just put in a little spinach from the garden as well. Then I'll add a bit of cheese. Chuck it into about 180 200 degrees oven. Cook for about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how big your Taylor fillets are. And then I smother it in fresh dill. You can put this in earlier if you like, 
but I prefer it refresh. 